Alrighty guys, how's it going? Uh, yeah, grease and oil or whatever fingerprints all over them, but there's the polished uh, telling spikes. Here she is, there's the muffler mod. Uh, I chose to go with the back half is still all stock. Uh, I am going to have to get a clutch for it. I get, there's a couple pieces on the, I either got to get clutch springs or the, the clutch itself because uh, no matter how low I idle it, it's still on to really grab the clutch hard. And I'm missing this rubber grommet uh, right here. So I'm going to have to get that rubber grommet and rebuild the clutch. It's just probably just the springs. If the shoes are worn, I'll just get a whole, whole clutch for it. Uh, it turned out uh, really good. Chain brake all works like it's supposed to. Uh, the handle turned out pretty good. But uh, all in all, I'd say it's a pretty nice saw. Uh, I did run it. It is very moderately uh, bench tuned. There ain't no sense in me trying to tune it anymore until I get the, the, the clutch and stuff. I won't be cutting with it until I get the clutch uh, fixed. It, uh, in here... It's got the, the HD filter that, through steel that I bought. They were proud of that. Uh, I even, I'm even running all the stock stuff. This thing's all, all stock under there. Uh, bypass the compression release. Uh, this saw has a tremendous amount of compression. sure this thing's got a limited coil in it. Um, I'll have to do some research. I don't know if I can put an unlimited coil in it or not. Uh, might be able to put a 440 coil in it. I don't know. I just used the stock coil because it's what, what it came with. But it sure acts limited to me. Uh, she's pretty snappy. Uh, it's actually snappier than I was thinking it was going to be at that intake. But uh, it will overpower the clutch. Like if I click that on and throttle on it, it, it tries to turn it, so it's definitely making some torque. But uh, yeah, she'll be a very nice saw. So right there she is. I don't know what you guys think. I'll have to, one day I'll have to make a call and uh, get springs and uh, the clutch pieces for it. I don't think these are the right dogs for it because on this cover this one is a little farther back than that one. Uh, not much I can do about that right now. Uh, I thought about just taking this one off and running the inner one but I really like the way it looks with dual dual spikes so I got I can either shorten this one might be a combination of shortening this one and lengthen that one or I might just say uh, piss on it and just buy a new set for it. Maybe I'll just order a set through the dealer. I don't know. It, uh, it's got a pretty penny tied up in it. So let me know what you guys think. You guys take it easy. Have a good one.